Hello everyone, this is Wes James here, and I'm bringing you another awesome Final Cut Pro effect. In today's tutorial, we're going to push things into place. If you've ever watched Home Improvement and watched how they transition from one location to another, you may know what I'm talking about. Here's what the final result looks like. I'm here in Final Cut Pro, and I have a clip in my timeline. It's a clip of Fantasia Brino singing at a DJ booth. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to de internalize this clip. So if you go to your effects browser, go to video filters, scroll down to video, select de interlace, and apply it to your clip. Double click to bring the clip into the viewer, go to your filters tab, change the field to match your clip. Next, make sure your playhead's at the end point of the clip. Set an in and out for one frame. Go to File, Export, using QuickTime Conversion. Change the format from QuickTime Movie to Still Image. Click on the Options button. Change the format to either PNG or TIFF, and then disregard all the other settings. Since I've already done it, I'm not going to resave this again, but after you've chosen your format of either PNG or TIFF, just hit the Save button and hit Cancel. Let's move over to Photoshop so I can give you a quick breakdown of what I did. So I brought the image into Photoshop. Using the Pen Tool, I set points on sections of the image that I wanted to cut. Every time I finished with the Pen Tool, I would highlight the selection, then hit Command-J to perform a layer via cut so I could keep the original image intact while making a cut with the selection. After I cut out portions of the image, I named them accordingly, so I cut out Fantasia first, named her Fantasia, then cut out the background behind her, named that background, then I cut out her wrist section right here, and named that Fantasia wrist, and then I cut out the booth individually and named that booth. I named them accordingly so I wouldn't get confused when I imported them into Final Cut Pro. Once you've done all that, save it as a Photoshop document and import it back into Final Cut Pro. We're back in Final Cut Pro, and I've imported the PSD into my project browser. Double click the PSD file to open it into the timeline. As you can see, all of our layers are intact. I disabled the visibility of the original image by clicking on the track visibility button, but if you haven't done so on your file already, click either the track visibility button or hit the keyboard shortcut control B to disable items. Let's start adding some push slide transitions to the endpoint of our layers. Go to your effects browser, scroll up to video transitions, select slide, and select push slide, and apply it to the layer on track 2. Select the transition, hold down Option and Shift, and drag up to the endpoint of the next clip, and repeat the step on tracks 4 and 5. Double click the push slide transition on track 2. Change its duration to 5 frames, and change its angle to 180. Double click the push slide transition on track 5. Change its duration to 5 frames as well, and, sh and leave its angle at 0. Double click the push slide transition on track 4. Change its duration to 5 frames, and change its angle to negative 90. And then double click the push slide transition on track 3. Change it to 5 frames and change its angle to 180. So far, so good. Select all the active layers in tracks 3, 4, and 5 and their transitions. Type plus 5 to move them 5 frames forward. Deselect the layer and transition on track 5. And type in plus 5 again to move the layers in track 4 and 3 5 frames forward. Deselect the layer on track 4 as well as its transition and press plus 5 to move the layer on track 3 5 frames forward. Press option P to play every frame. As you can see, they were all pushed into place using the push slide transitions. So move the playhead back to the endpoint. Next thing we're going to do is set an out point 
so that all our clips don't get cut off once we bra drag in the PSD sequence to our master timeline. So now point by hitting the O key. Go back to your master sequence. Go to your project browser. Select the PSD file and drag it into your timeline. And if you have to, trim the length of the trim the length of it so the out point meets with the in point of your clip. Set an in point at the in point of your PSD sequence and set an out point at the end of your clip. Hit Control L to loop playback. Hit Shift forward slash to play from in to out. And there you go. You've successfully performed a push everything into place, a home improvement effect using nothing more than PSD layers and push transitions found right inside of Final Cut Pro. I used this effect on this exact clip on a Fantasia Club video I had to edit and thought I would share it with everyone. Try it on your next project and see how it works for you. Send me a video response of what you were able to do and try to push it further than I did. Until then, stay creative.